There are two types of lenses that you can use with your camera, prime lenses and zoom lenses. And today I'm going to tell you which one is the better option for you. So the most obvious difference between a prime lens and a zoom lens is the focal range or the focal length. With a zoom lens, you can, as the name indicates, zoom in and out. But with a prime lens, the whole point is that you only have one fixed focal length that you can use with that lens. So you could, for example, have a 14 to 35 millimeter zoom lens like I used to have, or a 16 to 35 or something like that. Or you could have a 16 millimeter and a 35 5 mm prime lens to cover the same focal range. However, the zoom lens will also include all of the different focal lengths in between the focal range that it's made for. So for example, a 14 to 35 will include 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on and so forth. And you can get to all of those different focal ranges just by twisting a wheel. And as I said, with prime lenses, you only have one single focal length that it's fixed to. So for example, a 16 mm lens like I'm using right now. And to get a tighter or a wider shot, I would have to change the lens completely. So when it comes to focal ranges or focal lengths of lenses, a zoom lens will obviously be the more convenient choice. And that is the whole point of having a zoom lens, the convenience of being able to zoom in and out. So therefore, zoom lenses seem like the better option quite obviously, but it's not that simple. There are several reasons why you would sacrifice the convenience of a zoom lens and get a prime lens instead, and possibly the biggest reason is the speed or the maximum aperture of the lens. With a faster lens, you can get more light into the camera and you can also get a blurrier background. So for example, this is shot at f1.8, but if I go up to f4, you can see what happens to the background. And now I also have to crank up my ISO to compensate for the lost light, which will introduce more noise into the image. There's actually only a few prime lenses that are slower than an f f2.8, but there's also actually only a few zoom lenses that are faster than an f2.8. So if you want to have a lens that can go all the way down to an f1.8 or even an f1.2, you are going to have to buy a prime lens. So if you want to get a lot of light into your camera or if you want to have the extremely blurry backgrounds, prime lenses are the way to go. Now there are exceptions like the Canon RF 28 to 70 mm lens that can go all the way down to f2, but that is a massive and a very expensive lens. So that is one point for prime lenses and there are more to come. So next up is image quality and as a rule of thumb, you can think that prime lenses have better image quality than zoom lenses. Even the cheaper prime lenses can have exceptionally good image quality, whereas cheap zoom lenses are usually optically very bad. Now that being said, there are some zoom lenses that have insanely good image quality and there are some prime lenses that are actually quite bad in terms of image quality. And there are a ton of options for both prime lenses and zoom lenses out there and usually the more you pay, the better the image quality will also be so for example there are some really high quality Canon L series zoom lenses but they are also quite expensive so in terms of image quality things aren't really that simple but as a general rule of thumb you can think that prime lenses usually have the better image quality unless you spend a ton of money which brings us to our next point which is price probably the hardest thing to compare between a prime lens and a zoom lens is the price difference because usually primes are cheaper than zoom lenses but to cover the same focal range you will need to have more lenses if if you go with primes than you would with just one zoom lens. So for example, instead of having a 24 to 105 millimeter zoom lens, you would need to have a 24, a 35, a 50, an 85 and a 100 millimeter prime lenses to cover the same focal range. So you would need five lenses to cover that one lens. So those five prime lenses will most likely be more expensive than that one zoom lens. But then again, you could possibly manage with just like a 24, a 50 and a 100 millimeter. And those three prime lenses might actually cost the same as that one zoom lens. Now, obviously you couldn't go to all of those focal lengths in between, but then again, you would most likely have better image quality and you would have a lot faster lenses with those primes. But then again, to get from one end of the focal range to the other, you would have to switch lenses. So there's once again, that convenience of owning a zoom lens. You can always just zoom in and out by a twist of a ring. Now, one more thing to consider is that maybe you could just start off with one single prime lens. If you're, for example, taking only landscapes and you only need one lens to do that. So you could then upgrade your gear once you get further in your career and get more money to spend on camera gear. Whereas with the zooms, you would just have to spend a lot of money on that one high quality zoom lens, which could do a lot of things, but you maybe don't need to do all of those things at the beginning. But all in all, in the long run, I don't think money is something that you have to worry about too much when you're thinking about if primes or zooms are the better option for you. One more thing that is kind of hard to debate between primes and zooms is the size difference. Prime lenses are usually smaller than zoom lenses, but once again, there are exceptions and once again, you would have to have more prime lenses to cover the same focal range as with a zoom lens. So all in all, the prime lenses might actually end up being 
bigger and heavier than having a single zoom lens. But if you just want to grab your camera with one lens and go out and shoot and have that setup as small as possible, prime lenses will usually be the smaller option. So with all of this out of the way, which one is the right one for you? Primes or zooms? Now it all comes down to the way you shoot and what you shoot. If you need the absolute sharpest and the fastest lenses, prime lenses will most likely be the better option for you. But if you need the convenience of zooming in and out with a single lens, you can't really get prime lenses and zoom lenses would be the way to go. Personally, I have always been a massive fan of zoom lenses, but currently I don't really need to be able to zoom in and out, so I've sold my zoom lenses and bought prime lenses instead. But for you, zoom lenses might actually be the better option. If you need any more help with deciding what type of lenses are the best for you, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Shh.